हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ यू ऑल सो जस्ट प्लान अ सेशन टू इम्प्रोवाइज योर रैंक इन द नीट पी जी ओके एंड इन वेरी शॉर्ट टाइम ऑफ वन आवर टू वन एंड हाफ आवर वी लाइक टू लाइक रिमेंबर ऑफ इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स दे आर मिक्सड अप दे आर नॉट लाइक स्पेसिफिकली फ्रॉम जर्नल एंड ऑल दैट दे आर मिक्सड अप एंड आई सपोज यू हैव रेड दोज हुव रेड द माइक्रो बायोलॉजी फुल फॉर देम इट विल बी हाईली बेनिफिशियल ओके एंड वी विल लाइक लाइक टू डिस्कस अप लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स फाइन सो बेसिक एम इज दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस अप रिगार्डिंग दैट एंड द एजेंशियल पॉइंट्स आई विल बी राइटिंग ऑफ एंड द इम्पॉर्टेंट वन लाइन यू कैन ऑब्जर्व अप दैट दिस माइड बी आस्ट इन द एग्जाम ओके सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट स्टार्ट अप Now, guys, see the first one. The beta one three glucan assay is not done in the diagnosis of what? So, this particular question is coming in your exam, Shreya. Mahendra, this particular question is coming in exam. This particular testing, which is there in the fungus, because this is present in some of the cell walls of the uh, this particular fungus, it is not done in the case of mucor mycosis, in the infection of mucor, and in the infection of cryptococcus. okay this particular beta 13 glucan assay is not done you should know what where it is done but you also should know where you should not do it okay so beta 13 glucan assay is done as you know the mnemonic cap invasive candidiasis invasive aspergillosis and pneumocystis zero vc infection which is common in the hiv positive at the cd4 count of less than 200 in these particular infections it is indicated and it is not done in whom this can come why because this was the latest one muca so muca mycosis and cryptococcus in them this is not done important first point okay now the second one is medullary bodies medullary bodies is a question which was coming up last 3 years again and again it is coming off so you should know that it is seen in chromoblastomycosis it is observed in what it is observed in chromoblastomycosis and this particular chromoblastomycosis is done by which type of fungus phyoid fungi and what is phyoid fungi pigmentous which are darkly pigmented and because of this particular thing only they are termed as black fungus and what is coming in the black fungus this was inct question black fungus remember the name this is cladosporium cladosporium is black fungus okay cladosporium bentiana is the full name this is black fungus phyllophora varicosa alton area okay bipolaris curvel area these all are pigmented fungus but specifically black fungus if they call up darkly pigmented one is cladosporium and another name is phyllophora so out of these first three like beta 13 glucan medlar and this trichophyton rubrum one one question will be there in your exam for short okay So remember this particular one. It is seen in the chromoblastomycosis, and uh, there is a relation between the wood prick, fine, wood prick, and after that there is a varicose lesion, and you go for the biopsy. You got to see these medulla bodies. What are the other name of them? That is also important, and you can remember them by a mnemonic MSC. So that is you already know medulla sclerotic, and they are copper penny appearance. First point. Then trichophyton rubrum. Why I am telling that this can be asked? See this trichophyton rubrum. this particular dermatophyte why it can be asked rub first of all remember this produces a red color pigment on the culture okay and this particular one that is the trichophyton rubrum this one produces up two important lesions one is tinea pedis and one is tinea cruris okay so one is tinea pedis and one is what tinea cruris they are done by whom trichophyton rubrum they have a red pigment other than that what you need to know that this is pencil shape macroconidia it is having which type of shape of macroconidia pencil shape because trichophyton is pencil shape okay trichophyton is pencil shape now prozone phenomena you know prozone phenomena is what prozone phenomena is antibody excess okay prozone is antibody excess and if somebody ask you that which particular disease it strongly associates the answer is brucellosis it strongly associates with what it strongly associates with brucellosis and how to remember that brucelli is 
pro abs the bruce lee wants to prepare a what abs so pro zone is antibody access seen in brucellosis and another one is post zone post zone is antigen access okay so that is also one of the things which you need to know regarding the pro zone phenomena and pro zone phenomena for your information is also seen in vidal test okay and that's why you do the tube vidal better one and vidal is a agglutination test that you already know and uh, that's why we do tube because we want to dilute up the sample is it fine so very important ones now glass wears glass wears are best sterilized by hot air oven okay hot air oven what is the temperature of hot air oven 160 degree centigrade for 2 hours now there is update in this that which particular control you use for the hot air oven the answer is guys there are ready made spores of bacillus atrophius okay this particular bacteria is being used as the control in the case of hot air oven which have replaced of what bacillus subtilis remember this this might be asked okay it have replaced of what control spores the control in the hot air oven is what the spores of bacillus atrophius not the bacillus subtilis which was previously told up okay now it has changed now regarding the autoclave you know that is the bacillus sterothermophilus okay that you already know bacillus sterothermophilus and the same sterothermophilus is there in the gas plasma sterilization which gas in the gas plasma that is the h2o21 fine the phenomena of genetic reassortment genetic reassortment guys this word whenever it comes you need to think for what antigenic shift okay you need to think for what antigenic shift and when we think for antigenic shift you already know what we are talking about we are talking about the influenza virus which influenza virus shifting happens influenza a influenza a is the virus in which the antigenic shift happens and what is antigenic shift abrupt drastic and discontinuous and that leads to what that leads to pandemics what is drifting antigenic drifting single point mutation that happens in influenza a as well as b but this reassortment phenomena is observed in whom influenza a only is it fine and uh, can you tell me regarding influenza a guys influenza a b and c these are segmented ones okay so this particular one is having eight this particular one only having seven like eight segments of uh, rna and c is having seven segments of rna so that means it is a segmented rna virus first point fine another one it is a single stranded rna everybody knows enveloped it is so all these important points regarding influenza you need to know and h1n1 is which one that is a swine flu h5n1 is which one bird flu okay and the last and the last uh, this particular one the last pandemic which happened is of h1n1 only in 2009 and now after that 10 years 2019 the covid-19 happened now tell me about this species specific reacts with the cells affect the cells and then become resistant to number of different viruses and this particular thing inhibits the viral protein synthesis what we are talking about guys we are talking about interferon okay what we are talking about guys we are talking about interferon and you already know it is alpha beta and gamma okay alpha beta and gamma and they are secreted by what lft what is this lymphocytes fibroblast and t lymphocytes okay that is leukocytes fibroblast and t lymphocytes they are the ones which secrete up this interferon alpha beta and gamma is it fine now babes earners granules metachromatic granules polymetaphosphate granules these fancy names they are found in cornibacterium diphtheri and these are the energy depots or energy deposits of this particular bacteria they are the energy deposits of this particular bacteria and uh, they drive the energy from it and you can stain them with the help of certain stains termed as pan ponders albert and nisa and even you can use lofler's methylen blue here also okay so these are the stains which are there the question which i think can come here is that is gravis intermedius mitis these are the biotypes of the diphtheria and this one is having daisy head colonies okay then intermediate is having frog egg and this is poached egg okay this i have told her before also that these are the shapes of biotypes 
and these particular shapes of biotypes are wear on potassium telluride agar potassium telluride agar okay so remember this then bull neck bull neck you know that is the feature of diphtheria itself diphtheria exotoxin what is the action of it this is a b c d e f remember by this mnemonic a and b that two components and these particular ones r of c d and x wear on the elongation factor what they do they inhibit the protein synthesis of the cell and thereby the like uh, the cell death happens bull neck it is due to the neck edema and sometimes we can say lymph endopathy is also there but mainly it is the neck edema which turns this bull neck and in the picture form you confuse it bumps because in that also what is there unilateral or bilateral parotitis okay so remember that this already having done by the examination board then stalactite growth stalactite growth is observed of yersinia pestis and the question was ghee broth in which particular one the stalactite type of a growth is seen and what is stalactite stalactite is like this these projections they are termed as stalactite and they are observed in the yersinia pestis on ghee broth and this was asked that which is the culture media for this answer is this particular one ghee broth okay sabe what is sabe sabe is sub acute bacterial endocarditis okay what is sabe sub acute bacterial endocarditis and the most commonly caused by whom streptococcus viridens okay this is done by what streptococcus viridens and if somebody ask you abe that is acute bacterial endocarditis that is done by staph aureus in iv drug abusers again staph aureus so both of them it is what staph aureus and in the case of this one that is the streptococcus viridens and regarding the viridens you need to know revise these also mutants okay and sanguis and they associates with endocarditis after a dental surgery okay so dental surgery if that is being asked in the question then they are asking about what this particular mutants and sanguis okay so that is also there now epiglottitis meningitis invasive type of infections they are done by which particular hemophilus answer is hemophilus influenzae and in hemophilus influenzae also which one capsulated one they are the ones which does this epiglottitis and meningitis invasive infections okay so remember here type small b prp this is their polyribitol phosphate type small b prp this is the one basis through which this vaccine is prepared up termed as what hib vaccine which vaccine is prepared by this hib vaccine which one type small b prp and can you tell me in the x ray picture of epiglottitis which particular sign is observed that is the thumb sign okay which particular sign is observed that is the thumb sign antigenic drift a single point mutation i already told you is commonly seen in influenza a and influenza b but antigenic shift is seen in influenza a okay acute rheumatic fever and acute glomalonephritis they are the non suppurative complications of what that is the infection of streptococcus pyogenes streptococcus pyogenes is which type of bacteria it's a beta hemolytic streptococcus okay it's a beta hemolytic streptococcus and this particular pyogenes loves to grow where it loves to grow on cvba that is crystal violet blood agar and the that transport media is what guys that is the pikes okay pikes is the transport media another important question here itself is this is termed as flesh eating bacteria this is termed as what this is termed as flesh eating bacteria fine for the leprosy the culture most suitable is that is the foot pad of armadillo okay that is the foot pad of armadillo and this particular armadillo is not found in india it's a south american animal and nine banded it is it is best cultured here in the armadillo otherwise it does not follow which uncle's postulate koch uncle's postulate and this koch uncle's postulate is not followed by which other organism that is a tryponema pallidum okay it also does not okay now 
द टॉक्सिक शॉक सिंड्रोम इज कॉज बाय द सुपर एंटीजन ऑफ स्टाफ ऑरियस ओके सुपर एंटीजन ऑफ स्टाफ ऑरियस एंड गाइज टू योर सरप्राइज टॉक्सिक शॉक सिंड्रोम इज ऑल्सो डन बाय स्ट्रेप्टोकोकस पायोजीन्स ओके स्ट्रेप्टोकोकस पायोजीन्स ऑल्सो डज टॉक्सिक शॉक सिंड्रोम अलॉन्ग विद दिस सुपर एंटीजन ऑफ स्टाफ ऑरियस नाउ वॉट इज सुपर एंटीजन सुपर एंटीजन इज एंटीजन विच इज सुपर In what's already super, it attaches to the lateral side of the TCR T cell receptor and activates more than twenty percent T lymphocytes. So that is important regarding the super antigen. The toxin producing gene that is the tox gene in the case of diphtheria that is being transmitted by which process? The answer is lysogenic conversion. The answer is lysogenic conversion. This is a typical example of lysogenic. conversion remember this particular one shigella dysentriae shigella dysentriae produces exotoxin and this shigella dysentriae is found to be catalase negative this particular one is found to be what it is found to be catalase negative okay we remember like this na ki antibacterial family may that in shigella which is the like uh, bigda hua bachcha to bigda hua bachcha kon hai shigella dysentriae it produces exotoxin because everybody in the gram negative produces mostly endotoxin okay very few are there which produce exo this few is this one and the shigella dysentriae is catalase negative otherwise the full family is what catalase positive and this question will be asked for sure okay now the number of mycobacteria required to be detected by afb staining is how much so remember if in the per ml sputum it is more than 10000 bacilli per ml of sputum then only you could able to see it on the zeden stain okay that is zeel nilsen stain otherwise you will not be able to and if you want to culture it then you need to have 10 to 100 bacilli 10 to 100 bacilli and uh, the virulence factors they can ask of that is the lipoarbuminin and the cord factor which prevent the phagolysomal fusion of this particular bacteria is it fine bacteria not obeying koch postulase now this is repeat you already know what is that mycobacterium leprae and treponema pallida they are the strict ones which does not follow koch postulates the virulence factors for streptococcus okay virulence factors for streptococcus a number of them like m protein on the basis of which the classification is also there you have streptolysins streptolysins m proteins these are the virulence factors for streptococcus along with that nt c5a exotoxins secreted by it okay and dnas these are the various virulence factors for the streptococcus okay now regarding borrelia vincentii fusiformis you already know that it does vincent angina and can you tell me in the comment section that vincent angina does in this you have a pseudo membrane does we have a pseudo membrane in this guys do you know that borrelia vincentii fusiformis causes vincent angina does we have a pseudo membrane of this yes or no please tell yeah i'm waiting the answer to this question is yes we have okay pseudo membrane is a feature of vincent angina okay we, I, i've already told you na the mnemonic that is vidals the mnemonic is what vidals and in the vidal you have this vincent angina I stands for infectious mononucleosis D stands for diphtheria A stands for a generalized condition that is A granulocytosis okay L is certain leukemias they have it and even the streptococcus pharyngitis is having the pseudo membrane formation okay that is also having a pseudo membrane formation is it fine so these all you need to know regarding the epidemic relasping fever relasping borrelia recurrentis r for r okay so borrelia recurrentis is the organism okay and this is transmitted by what it is transmitted by laus okay it is transmitted by what it is transmitted by laus epidemic laus born relasping fever is done by this and it is transmitted by what it is transmitted by laus is it fine now burkitt's lymphoma this particular lymphoma is 
caused by Epstein Barr virus. <coughs> okay, and can you tell me Epstein Barr virus? What is the number of it? The number of it is HHV4. Which other important ones regarding it you need to remember? Important regarding it is that this particular Epstein Barr virus, which we are talking about, it affects up those particular cells which are CD21 positive, okay, or CR2 positive. Then this one associates with a disease termed as infectious mononucleosis, which is also termed as kissing disease. Important to know is that it have atypical lymphocytes positive, which are larger in like uh, size. And this particular one important is when you give the treatment for this ampicillin and all the rashes they come on the body. So this disease is having those particular ailments history that can be asked in your exam. And Epstein Barr virus does a lot of other infections like oral hairy leukoplakia, okay, Duncan syndrome, this Burkitt's lymphoma which we have just done. So all these they are being done by this, okay, like Hodgkin's lymphoma, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, all of them you already know, I suppose so. Now, the commonest site for extra intestinal amoebiasis. For that, you remember a mnemonic that is LLB. For that, you remember a mnemonic that is LLB, liver, lung and brain. And the same one, the same mnemonic goes for hydrated cyst, liver, lung and brain. So, hydrated cyst occurs most commonly where? In the liver, then the lungs and then the brain. Entrobius vermicularis in its life cycle does not pass through lungs. Everybody knows it. Which particular swab is used for it? Answer is NIH swab. What is NIH swab? National Institute Health Swab. What is the egg of this looks like? The egg of this looks like this. You can say like D, plano convex and having inside what? A tadpole like larvae. Having inside what? having inside a tadpole like larvae fine cysticercus cellulosae cysticercus cellulosae is is the larval stage of which particular parasite tinea solium and tinea solium is which one tinea solium is pock tape form tinea saginata is beef tape form which looks like a philip shiver tinea saginata one that is cysticercus bovis is it fine remember that also Good, Dr. Kritika, very good. Hydrated cyst. Hydrated cyst, you know that it is being done by dog tape form, echinococcus granulosis. And the definitive host here is dog. This is the question. Definitive host in the case of dog tape form is dog only. Okay, otherwise humans are the definitive host in most of the cystoid infections. But here, there is a different one. Definitive host is dog. Okay, name a cystoid infection in which there is a megaloblastic anemia. The answer is diphylobotrium letum infection. In that, megaloblastic anemia is characteristic of it. Fine. Now, the infective stage of malaria, everybody knows, sporozoid and the transfusion needed one, it is having these as the infective stage, trophozoid or merozoid. They are being transmitted off. And if we talk about the malaria, the sporozoid is the infective form, everybody knows, which is the definitive host? Definitive host is female Anopheles mosquito and which is the intermediate host? That is the men. And what is definitive host? In which the sexual cycle happens. Overfloating and bile stain. So, first of all, overfloating. Overfloating, you can remember by a mnemonic fate. Okay, by a mnemonic fate. And what is there in this particular mnemonic? Fertilized egg of Ascaris. Fertilized egg of Ascaris is the one which floats on saturated salt solution. A is Ankylostoma duodenale egg. T is Trichuris trichiura egg. Okay, E is Entrubis vermicularis egg. And H is H nana egg. These all, they float on saturated salt solution. Is it fine? And important is fertilized egg of Ascaris floats, not the unfertilized, unfertilized dips. <coughs> Another important one is which are non bile stained and non bile stained you can remember by this mnemonic of ours Neha N is Nicator Americanus E is Entrobius vermicularis H is H Nana A is Ankylostoma duodenale This Neha is non bile stained otherwise all others are what bile stained 
So if I ask you now, Ascaris is what? It's a bile stained egg and this is coming in your exam. Yellow colored egg, bile stained one, that can come in your exam regarding the Ascaris stuff. Intermediate host for the Plasmodium, this you already know, that is the humans. Definitely host is female Anopheles mosquito. Largest intestinal protozoa, that is the Palantidium coli. And this particular Palantidium coli leads to diarrhea or dysentery. And this is unique. Unique in what sense? It has two types of nucleus. It is having micronucleus and a macronucleus. Remember that it is having a micronucleus and the macronucleus. And this is characteristic of it. Fine. Otherwise, it is having certain other things also like cytostome, cytopharynx and all that, peristome. They are also seen in this. And you can use doxy or tetracycline as a drug of choice for this. Rotatory motility. Fine. Now, metronidazole can be used to treat infections of which sort? So obviously, bacterial vaginosis in pregnancy also the same. GRDSs, okay. And in trichomonas vaginalis infections, these are the main ones in which metronidazole is used. And other than that, MEBSs. Okay, other than that, MEBSs, these are the ones which can be used for the, like metronidazole can be used in what? Bacterial vaginosis, GRDSs, trichomoniasis, that is vaginalis infection and MEBSs. These are the various important ones which you need to know. Otherwise, in the peptic ulcer disease also, you can use the metronidazole. Is it fine? Okay. BCG vaccine if constituted, first of all tell me where it constitutes, in the normal saline, it have to be used between 4 to 6 hours, this was also asked once. The commonest bacterial cause of diarrhea in travelers is obviously ETEC, okay, ETEC and which particular one is observed up, which particular one is observed up in this because of which it attaches the answer is cfa and what is cfa colonizing factor antigen because of that it attaches to the surface this question is coming cfa in the case of etec fine epc already know pediatric age group diarrhea okay and uh, it is having attaching and effacing lesions a oblique e lesions that is important and the same a oblique e lesions is also observed in what anterohemorrhagic e coli in that also you see which produces enteroinvasiveness Shigellosis resembling, that is EIEC, okay, and that you already know, O157, we already discussed so much, Enterohemorrhagic E. coli, and the culture media used is SMAC, and if SMAC is not in the option, Rainbow Agar. The most common cause of antibiotic induced colitis, and that is being done by third generation cephalosporins, so clindamycin, and the organism is Clostridium difficile, okay, and the organism is Clostridium difficile. And remember one particular thing guys, one particular thing which, which is coming in the exam, that is, how does you diagnose it? You diagnose it with the help of toxin demonstration, okay, you diagnose it with the help of toxin demonstration and this toxin demonstration is to be supplemented by GDH antigen testing. GDH antigen testing you need to know. What is GDH? Glutamate dehydrogenase 1, okay. Glutamate dehydrogenase 1 antigen testing you need to do regarding this antibiotic induced colitis diagnosis. So this question might be your best options to answer up. Otherwise PCR might be there, culture might be there, difficult to culture but can culture. Okay, actinomycosis that is done by what? Actinomyces israeli that you already know that actinomycosis important ones is actinomyces israeli which is of two types one is oral and one it is a causal agent of PID. Okay, in whom? In the IUCD users. And this oral actinomycosis is having which type of appearance? A sun ray appearance. What is the rays of that sun? This organism. Okay, which color is there of the sulfur granules? Yellow. So all this you need to know regarding the actinomycosis Israeli oral actinomycosis. What is the most common site? Cervicofacial. Here, this is there. Molar tooth appearance. This question is an important one which you might encounter in the exam molar tooth appearance okay that is observed on a normal culture media of actino is it fine very good dr ritika okay ji then tumbling motility tumbles which fellow tumbles over sharabi ki tarah kaun ghumta hai listeria another favorite question of examiner listeria kitne temperature pe grow karta hai it loves to grow at 4 degree centigrade it loves to grow at 
फोर डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड इसीलिए विच प्रोसीजर इज यूज फॉर दिस कोल्ड एनरिचमेंट मेथड विच प्रोसीजर इज यूज कोल्ड एनरिचमेंट मेथड रिमेंबर दैट ओके वॉट इज द ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस इज एम्पसलिन ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस इज एम्पसलिन एंड अनदर क्वेश्चन विच वॉज आज रिसेंटली इज ग्रैलोमेटोसिस इन्फेंटीसेप्टिका ये गंदा सा नाम ये वाला इन्फेक्शन कौन करता है दिस इन्फेक्शन इज डन बाय दिस पर्टिकुलर फेलो विच वन दैट इज दिस्टीरिया इज इट फाइन वेरी गुड डार्टिंग डार्टिंग मोटिलिटी डार्टिंग मोटिलिटी एवरीबडी नोज रिगार्डिंग विब्रियो कॉलरे बट वेरी सम वेरी फ्यू पर्सन दे नो दैट कंपायलोबैक्टर जुजुनी इज ऑल्सो हैविंग अ डार्टिंग मोटिलिटी एंड कंपायलोबैक्टर जुजुनी का नाम आते ही तुम्हें क्या याद आ जाना चाहिए जी बी एस गुलियन बैरिस सिंड्रोम असेंडिंग पैरालिसिस फ्रॉम ग्राउंड टू ब्रेन रिमेंबर दिस विच पर्टिकुलर सीरो टाइप ओ नाइनटीन डज इट ओके अदर देन दैट कंपायलोबैक्टर जुजुनी कैंप लगाता है कब समर में फोर्टी टू डिग्री पे अच्छा ग्रो करता है कंपायलोबैक्टर जुजुनी रिमेंबर दिस फैक्ट ऑल्सो ओके स्वामिंग स्वामिंग इज शोन बाय नंबर ऑफ बैक्टीरिया बट दी मोस्ट हीरो इज प्रोटियस इवन क्लास्ट्रीडियम ऑल्सो शोज स्वामिंग एंड स्वामिंग इज वॉट बादल की तरह छा जाना लाइक अ क्लाउड दिस पर्टिकुलर वन स्प्रेड ओवर द कल्चर मीडिया दैट इज टर्म दिस स्वामिंग फॉलिंग लीव लाइक फॉलिंग लीव लाइक एवरीबडी नोज जी आर डी लैम्बलिया ओके एंड हैविंग हाउ मेनी पेयर्स ऑफ फ्लेजला फोर पेयर्स एट इन टोटल ओके यू डू अ स्ट्रिंग टेस्ट स्ट्रिंग टेस्ट इज डन इन दैट दैट इज टर्म इज एंटीरो टेस्ट विच अदर इज द स्ट्रिंग टेस्ट दैट इज डन इज विब्रियो दैट इज फॉर द कॉलरा ओके सो Falling leaf like is observed in Giardia lamblia. So this is also to be remembered. Important is Giardia is common in those individuals which have selective IgA deficiency along with CVID and the drug of choice metronidazole. Another important aspect it does travelers diarrhea. It does what? It does travelers diarrhea. Okay. Corkscrew motility. That is being observed in Trypanosoma pallidum. At Trypanosoma pallidum, the name आते ही, we should think for what syphilis. We should think for what syphilis. And in the syphilis, in the primary one, you have what a hard chancre. Okay, hard chancre, which is painless or painful. It is painless. What about the secondary one? Secondary one, you have rashes. Rashes over where palms and soles. अभी बात करते हैं previous. Just अभी question जो आया. Rashes are absent over palms and soles. Which rickettsial disease? Answer is epidemic typhus. Okay, answer is epidemic typhus, and they can relate up this thing with the drug of choice. Drug of choice is doxy there. Drug of choice is doxy there. Here it is syphilis. Here it is syphilis. Fine. And gamas, condylomata lata, all that is a frequently asked question. For the prognosis, you go for VDRL. The best test is. For like sensitive one, if we talk about that is FT ABS. The specific test, if we talk about that is TPI, and in the congenital syphilis, you have to go for which one? IgM FT ABS. That is also important one. Okay, so important is this also. Eton agents. Eton agent is Mycoplasma pneumoniae, guys. And Mycoplasma pneumoniae is the most common cause of what? Is the most common cause of atypical pneumonia. Another question. Okay, most common cause of atypical pneumonia, and this atypical pneumonia. Generally does not complicate, but it can complicate, and in this also you can get Guillain-Barré syndrome. In the dermatology you can get Steven Johnson abnormalities. Okay, and other than that you need to know meningoencephalitis can also happen in the infection of whom? In the infection of Mycoplasma pneumoniae. And which test you do, guys? MAT, microscopic agglutination test. A cat. Is sitting on a mat. A cat is what cold agglutination test. That is what standard agglutination test. Okay, and mat is what microscopic agglutination test. And you have to just write up what MBL. That is Mycoplasma brucella leptospirosis. Okay, leptospirosis. G2 is uh, getting fast. Okay, pea soup stool is observed. And <laughs> yes, you are right. It is in the typhoid fever. Salmonella. It is there in the typhoid fever. That is salmonella. And the recent question was. That in the third day of fever, which investigation? Answer is blood culture because the the first week, second week, third week, fourth week it is it is not what it is not days, it is weeks, and the mnemonic is BASU. Okay, and the most relevant investigation that I have already told you that is FTABS and TPI. 
अच्छा गाइज हेयर वन क्वेश्चन कैन कम दैट वॉट इज द इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ चॉइस फॉर न्यूरोसिफलिस सो न्यूरोसिफलिस यू नो दैट इज वी डी आर एल वेंड्र डिजीज रिसर्च लैब इज द इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ चॉइस सी एस एफ वी डी आर एल फॉर वॉट न्यूरोसिफलिस ओके हाँ हाँ फॉर द टाइफॉइड यूज यूज विच ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस इज सेफ ट्राई एग्जॉन इज इट फाइन एच नाना एच नाना इज हूज नाना हाई मिल पीज नाना इट इज एंड इट इज टर्म डैज इट इज टर्म डैज ह्यूमन टेप फॉर्म ओके दिस इज एक्चुअली द smallest one okay this is the smallest histode this you know this is the smallest histode and this is a human tape form whereas this name also you should know that is the h dimunator okay h dimunator i would like to emphasize on this is rat tape form okay this is rat tape form and how you differentiate between them you differentiate between them on the basis of polar filaments polar filaments are absent here okay polar filaments are absent here in the case of whom h dimonata okay and the drug of choice for h nana is praziquantel what is the drug of choice praziquantel and very right it is like smallest means dwarf dwarf tape form is h nana multiple drug resistance mdr spreads by most common is conjugation okay most common is what conjugation and it can spread through transduction and what is transduction transduction is through the Through the bacteriophage or phage, actually it is phage. Ito test. This can come. Ito test is used in the diagnosis of soft sore, which is also termed as what, guys? Chancroid. Which is also termed as what, guys? Chancroid. And what is the feature of it? It is a painful and soft genital ulcer. It is a painful and a soft genital ulcer. Important is school of fish appearance. that is there in this particular one also termed as what tram track appearance or school of fish appearance okay so this also needs to be remembered cutaneous larvae migrans another very important question can come in the exam done by ankylostoma brasiliensis and ankylostoma caninum okay and they can show you the picture of that worm cutaneous larvae migrans and drug of choice they can ask you the drug of choice is for this also albendazole drug of choice for cutaneous larvae migrans is albendazole and the same cutaneous larvae migrans is also run by what strongyloid stercoralis in which that it is termed as what larvae currens and the drug of choice for there is yes that you should tell yes tell which one is the drug of choice in that particular one that is ivermectin okay that is ivermectin dark ground illumination this everybody knows now reflected light and it is for the spirochetes it is for the spirochetes rheumatoid factor is which one it is igm antibody against fc fragment of igg and this gets deposited into the joints and leads to this particular disease okay this gets deposited and leads to the this particular rheumatoid arthritis so this is coming in your exam remember this particular point that this is an antibody against the another antibody and they do ask this that name a disease in which this happens antibody is against the another one so answer is rheumatoid one igm against the igg and this get deposited up in the various joints now this we already have done overflows on the saturated salt solution are of yes can you tell me the mnemonic now yes guys this this you can tell that which which is the mnemonic that uh, which particular ova they float in saturated salt solution yes please the answer is fate okay the answer is fate these particular ones they float on saturated salt solution okay the answer is fate very good dr ritika very good macrophage okay jitu also right very good commonest immunoglobulin deficiency is of that is iga selective iga deficiency is the most common this you already know and iga is present where it is present in the secretions you know already fine and it is having a chain which is termed as j chain and j chain is equally seen in whom igm which is the first immunoglobulin any response igm okay chronic one is told by igg igg is the immunoglobulin which passes through placenta 
which is the subtype of it IgG1 is the most common subtype and IgM and IgG they play a role in which complement pathway classical complement pathway okay which is the one which play a role in type 1 hypersensitivity that is the IgE okay which particular fellows they are doing MD sitting over the B cells that is IgM and IgD they are sitting over the naive B cells this also should be clear to you okay <coughs> Asteroid bodies and cigar shaped globi like arrangement may be produced by whom? So basically globi this word have come of leprosy. So cigar shaped and asteroid bodies they are observed in what? They are observed in sporotrichosis and in the sporotrichosis you need to know important thing Rose Gardner's disease sporotrichoid pattern is observed okay and this is having a flower like sporulation flower like sporulation and cigar shaped E cell which we are talking here cigar shaped E cell okay visceral larvae migrants we often talk about cutaneous larvae migrants but nobody talks about visceral larvae migrants answer is toxocara canis and toxocara catis these are the two names which does visceral larvae migrants this also is to be remembered and remember this this is not toxoplasma this is toxocara okay this one is having a call forms banana shaped gametocytes and the rbc they are having a normal size rbc is having what a normal size and the size on stage is absent which particular plasmodium i am talking about dr ritika dr naga you are perfectly fine answer is plasmodium falciparum and anybody can tell me what is the mnemonic which I have told for this umber okay that is no discrimination in the RBC all age RBC is involved up Morris dots are there banana shaped gametocytes are observed a call forms are seen and there is a recrudescence and along with that it can lands up with a complication in the renal failure is it fine fried egg colony fried egg colony is observed on PPLO agar okay and this Paplu agar is used for what? It is used for mycoplasma pneumonia, which we already have done along with the complications. Okay. Now, satellitism. Satellitism is a phenomena shown by Haemophilus influenzae. Okay. Haemophilus influenzae. Can you tell me what is the other name of this, guys? P. first bacillus. This is also termed as what? P first bacillus. Casoni test. Casoni test is positive in obviously high dated cyst and this is which type of hypersensitivity? Type 1. Okay, type 1. Otherwise, mostly these types of skin ones they are type 4. Sheathed microphylaria. Sheathed microphylaria is you can remember by this mnemonic LBW. Fine. So L is Lova Lova, B is Brugia Malai. And W is Vucheraria Bancrofti. Vucheraria Bancrofti. These are there. And in the Vucheraria Bancrofti microphylaria, tail tip is having how many nuclei, guys? Yes, tell. How many nuclei are there? Yeah, very right. How many nuclei are there in the tail tip? In the case of Vucheraria Bancrofti, tell please. Yes, please, yes, please, yes, please. There is no nuclei. Very good. There is no nuclei in the tail tip of this particular one. Whereas in the Brugia Malai, okay, it is having terminal 2 nuclei. It is having terminal 2 nuclei. How you remember? It is having 2 A's. It is having what? 2 A's. Now, chronic hepatitis. Chronic hepatitis is most common in the infection with. Answer is hepatitis C is the most chronic, more than 85%, but 1 to 10% is hepatitis B also. So, this chronicity is observed in both hepatitis C and B. This particular chronic hepatitis can happen, but obviously, which is the most chronic, more than 85%, that is hepatitis C, and 1 to 10 around hepatitis B, which is the most fulminant, hepatitis D, which passes through, like which uh, transmits through fecal oral one, hepatitis A and E. Is it fine? Which is the DNA one here? The DNA one is hepatitis B only. All others are RNA. Fine. Endemic typhus. Endemic typhus is transmitted by. Answer is flea. Very good. Atri. The answer is flea. And the, that table is a must know. 
okay epidemic typhus endemic typhus rocky mountain spotted fever indian tick typhus rickets cell pox okay and scrub typhus and the organisms and their arthropods is a must know you should know recent one is the rashes over the palms and soles is absent and which rickets cell disease we are talking about answer is epidemic typhus and which is transmitted by what louse which is transmitted by what louse and drug of choice doxy okay organism detected in asterectal fossa sometimes obviously this is our favorite e coli which is present as a normal commensal and it can lead to ischiorectal abscesses and number of other ailments there the most common is that otherwise all others can also be present okay i will tell you jitu okay meningo encephalitis is caused by which particular amoeba free living amoebas does that naglera follerae one of them then you have acanth amoeba and balamutia these three are there which leads to encephalitis and important one is pam primary amoebic meningo encephalitis this is done by naglera follerae and this particular naglera follerae is termed as brain eating amoeba it is termed as what brain eating amoeba now infection which transmits transplacentally the answer to this question you can very well remember by this mnemonic torch so t stands for toxo o stands for others here let's see others r is rubella okay c is cytomegalovirus now tell me guys cytomegalovirus is which number it is hhv5 name the infection which is common in post kidney transplant one and lead to pneumonia cmv okay that is the cmv then you have this h that is the herpes okay then you have this particular h that is the herpes so t is toxoplasma o is others others what comes in the others comes the hiv okay in the others what comes in the this one comes hiv syphilis okay i can write up down because it is not seeing up hiv syphilis okay and even hepatitis b can be transmitted transplacentally okay so these are the ones which are there in the others so t is toxo o is others r is rubella c is cmv h is herpes that is a torch infection now the question which have come in the inct exam is and can come to you does it lead to recurrent abortion no it does not okay so which infection does recurrent abortions syphilis which rule is followed casovich rule that successive pregnancy there is a improvement in the outcome so that is also to be know ha ah, jika also yeah jika also but in this particular trial which we generally talk is these ones yeah jika also yeah very right macrophage jika also can be transmitted plas placentally and uh, which particular cells jika specifically affects up in the placenta half boyer cells okay half boyer cells and the child has what the newborn can have microcephaly okay microcephaly can be observed and that is the important feature and another important question gbs gullen barre syndrome half boyer cells type 4 hypersensitivity reaction is delayed type and you know all sorts of things like uh, tuberculin test lepromin test okay that is uh, this iv poisoning these all they come in which hypersensitivity type 4 which is delayed type it happens after a particular time root of transmission hepatitis a and e that is fecal oral that is easy to do ebv causes we have already done it activates the classical complement pathway that is igm and igg and alternate is activated by what iga iga activates the alternate and here what i like to tell you is which factors are not consumed in the case of alternate pathway okay alternate pathway starts from c3 so 4 12 these complements they are not consumed in alternate pathway this you need to know okay this you need to know now first immunoglobulin to appear this i have already told you igm is the one and why it is so because it is sitting over the naive b cells m and d and this comes off okay so igm is there seven feldman tie test complement fixation test is used in toxoplasmosis okay guys it is seen in toxoplasmosis which one seben feldman die test now infective form of toxoplasma gondii infective form of toxoplasma gondii is can be a short short question to you because it have already come one is if i write down tekizoites 
that is the rapidly dividing forms then you have bradyzoites okay and then you have sporulated oocyst sporulated oocyst these three are there the infective forms of toxoplasma gondii these three are there they are the infective forms of toxoplasma gondii tachyzoites bradyzoites and sporulated oocyst vidal test is an example of which type of a test answer is a glutination test which vidal is better slide or tube answer is tube why because it avoids which phenomena prozone phenomena prozone is what antibody axis or antigen axis answer is it is antibody axis okay pseudo membranous enterocolitis this you now i think why i am writing it again because this is coming and which particular investigation you are using of investigation you are using of is yes till now toxin demonstration along with gdh antigen detection by the card test okay now tell about this dimorphic fungus it is causes desert nematism st jacquin valley fever used for bioterrorism also which one i am talking about the answer is coccidiidosemitis the answer is what guys coccidiidosemitis very right very right ak47 very right coccidiidosemitis is the one the dimorphic fungus and the mnemonic for dimorphic fungus which i told is hsbc please try and now just the name i will tell you histoplasmosis okay tuberculate macroconidia sporotrichosis which is actually a dimorphic but mainly causes subcutaneous mycosis rose gardner's disease b is blastomycosis figure of eight appearance coccidiidomycosis is having arthroconidal arrangement and a spherule with endospores p is paracoccidiidomycosis mickey mouse appearance t is telaromyces that is this, this have come last neat pg telaromyces manifi was there in the exam it is having a red pigment it is having what a red pigment it can cause a pulmonary infection it can cause a cutaneous infections and it is having a harry potter like broom that is brush border conidal arrangement this can again come these are the ones which you need to know regarding the hsbc please try they are dimorphic in what sort they are dimorphic east at which temperature body temperature why that is 37 and mold at gold 25 carat gold 25 degree centigrade they are mold is it fine lishman donovan bodies that is ld bodies they are observed in so this as the name suggest they are observed in the kalazar okay kalazar that is lishmaniasis kalazar ld bodies important is do they have a form with them kinetoplast yes they do have and the infective form is pro mastic got okay and this particular form ld bodies is which one a mastic got iski zindagi se kya chali gayi hai masti so it is a mastic got form without flagella a flagella but it is having a particular nucleus like structure that is termed as kinetoplast it was asked and which particular fly does it transmits sand fly okay sand fly those that you already know <coughs> kalazar happen to whom happen to whom ranbir kapoor rk39 antigen testing is done for this and investigation of choice is what guys lamp liposomal amphotericin b okay small intestinal nematode it is infective stage is a egg lofler syndrome associates we are talking about escaris and now tell me my question that is it bile stained or non bile stained the egg of this is bile stained or non bile stained tell me guys bile stained or non bile stained yes ak47 g2 tell me the the eggs of this particular escaris are they bile stained or non bile stained please tell me answer is bile stained round worm very right very right round worm and they are bile stained because non bile stained corn hai non bile stained corn hai pardon me neha okay so that is there and these fellows they go to the lungs for maturation and that's why they do this lofler syndrome which fellows it does a n s they go to the lungs in fact a square n s and calostoma duodenal nicator americanus and strongloy stercoralis along with escaris they goes to the lungs and does lofler syndrome okay the intermediate host we have already talked about that is the pig in this sorry in the saginata it is cattle and in this it is pig so this you need to know and uh, name name of the larva cystic circus bovis cystic circus cellulosae which one looks like a philip shiver 
saginate oil okay the largest protozoan parasite this is done strain of streptococci in, implicated in neonatal meningitis the answer is gbs that is group b strepto another name is streptococcus eglectia streptococcus eglectia important to know is the cam test positive and bacitracin resistant this is bacitracin resistant and this bacitracin testing you does where you does on blood agar this is an exception you do not do it on mha okay so that also you need to know the toxoplasma this is a teratogenicity is maximum in obviously the first trimester and max chance of transmission is there in the third trimester it is in the third trimester and we have talked about tachyzoids the rapidly dividing forms bradyzoids are slowly dividing forms and they can show you these words in your life cycle and can ask what i am talking about and toxoplasma definitely host is cat intermediate host is rat it's a story of tom and jerry it's a story of what tom and jerry now jitu for you hbs ag positive igm nt hbc positive if this is positive we termed it as what acute hepatitis b okay more than 6 months if somebody remains surface antigen positive that is chronic hepatitis and obviously along with that igg will also come so this is done and uh, which is termed as australian antigen hbs ag hbs ag is termed as australian antigen and uh, other than that uh, nt hbs titer you are looking out only in somebody and uh, this is coming only that suggest that that fellow is vaccinated more than 10 milli international units per ml is the protective titer this can also be asked hepatitis b vaccine this particular vaccine hepatitis b vaccine is prepared in east okay it is prepared in east that is also there now the causative agent of lyme's disease can you tell me the lyme's disease is done by what answer is borrelia burgdorferi what is the answer borrelia burgdorferi somebody have bring a burger at your door by knocking up and when you opened it up what you find a tick is there with a burger and supplied it by the blinket fine so lyme's disease the causative agent is burgdorferi tick transmits it that is there and the most important question is erythema migrans that is a particular red color lesion which moves under the skin also termed as target lesions or bull's eye lesion in this particular one and this you need to remember okay another important thing this is the one in which first degree second degree heart block can also happen how to remember you have asked for the nimbu kimat and recently you know that they are increased of and you get heart blocks so that is also to be remembered regarding the lines one fine bronchoscopes endoscopes all those which are like colonoscopes and all all those very costly instruments which cost around 10 to 15 lakhs they are sterilized by 2% glutaldehyde they are sterilized by what 2% glutaldehyde which comes in the market by the name of what sidex or sidex which comes in the market by the name of what sidex or sidex this you need to remember fine and it's a very strong sporocidal and a wonderful one which preserves of this integrity also of these particular ones they are very costly okay guys gram positive drumstick shape drumstick can you tell me what we are talking about eighth day disease it does and there is a increased dtr which are observed in this particular infection we are talking about tetanus but the question which i think can come now is that which is the snare protein which is the snare protein which is involved in the action of tetanospasm okay so answer to this question is the snare protein involved is synaptobrevin the snare protein observed is synaptobrevin in the case of tetanus tetanospasm is there which produces what the inhibition of glycine and gaba and because of that there will be a constant stimulation there will be increase in the dtr and if you talk about the botulina mancha in that <coughs> like if a question comes of that we'll tell you which snare protein is involved in the case of botulinum you have snap 25 okay synaptobrevin is there also and syntaxin okay but brave kon hai sirf brave kon hai jisko tetanus hua remember that okay 
sulfur granules in the wound here is a characteristic of oral actinomycosis. Now, this is a revision stuff. Can you tell me which type of appearance? Which type of appearance, guys? Which type of appearance, guys? Sun ray appearance. And what is there in the rays of the sun? The organism. Okay. Intracytoplasmic inclusion, negri bodies, they are diagnostic of rabies. Okay. Which is the family of it? That is the rhabdoviridae. Which is the family of it? Rhabdoviridae subfamily, Lisa, Lisa virni. What is the speed of rabies virus? 3 mm per hour. Which particular uh, places in India does not have it? Andaman and Nicobar along with Lakshadweep is not having rabies. Okay. And uh, this particular Negri bodies is a post-mortem, anti-mortem diagnosis. It's a post-mortem diagnosis. Which technique? Seller's technique is used to diagnose it up. Otherwise, you can use anti-mortemly what? Direct fluorescent testing and indirect fluorescent testing. Very right. Now, botulinum toxin have come. The action of this was last year question anticholinergic at various junctions. At various junctions is anticholinergic and important is canned food poisoning, history of honey ingestion in the children, infant botulism and otherwise they are neurotoxins and neurotoxins are used for what? Botox treatment and all that. Important is the action is anticholinergic at various junctions and if we talk about the names of the snare proteins, SNAP25, Syntaxin and Synaptobrevin. These are the various names which you observe in this particular one okay now this is a new one guys dr nishche have told up the fermentation of glycerol is the basis of classification by this give broth you told otherwise fermentation of glycerol is based for your senior important this can come okay and if somebody asks you, like based on the mannitol fermentation, which organism is like uh, classified? Answer is Shigella. Okay, which organism is there? Shigella. So, Yersinia is being classified and it grows into this ghee broth. Which type of growth? Stalactite of a growth. And which stain is characteristic? Vasin stain. Which other one is there? Jimsa. Okay, Vasin stain or Jimsa stain is used. And which particular staining? Bipolar staining it takes. Okay, bipolar staining. Atypical mycobacteria. What is the classification, guys? Answer is Runyon's classification. One question is coming from this, guys. One question is coming from this, guys. Answer is Runyon's classification. Photochromogens are mask, marinum, asiaticum, simi, kansasi. Okay, scotochromogens are SSG. What are scotochromogens? Scotochromogens are SSG. Kya? Scrofolaceum, zulgai, gordani. And we have made a mnemonic for it. That is that is scrofolaceum fulo wale garden mein jhulne gai so that is zul gai and this is gordani and this s is scrofolaceum this s is what this is scrofolaceum so this is regarding the ssg which which are in the dark they grow in the dark okay and mask is photochromogens non chromogens is having mask Okay, mask is there in that, xenopy is there in that and ulcerans is there in that which leads to buruli ulcer and uh, <coughs> rapid goers you already know, chiloni and fortiatum. Okay, chiloni and fortiatum. So, they can definitely give this and they can ask out. MW vaccine have you heard of? That is MW vaccine is prepared from MIP and MIP is what? Mycobacterium indicus prani and that leads to the formation of which vaccine guys? MW vaccine and this is a vaccine of what? This is a vaccine of leprosy. This is a vaccine of what? This is a vaccine of leprosy, guys. Torres body. Another last year question. Torres body is observed in yellow fever. Yellow fever, it is observed. How to remember? Yellow torch light. Yellow torch light. Yellow fever. Which vaccine, guys? 17D vaccine. Favorite question. Okay. If you are traveling to Africa, you need to have this vaccine. Otherwise, you will not allow be boarding the flight okay and now this uh, certificate is lifetime valid it is lifetime valid and ad transmits it that's why ad's rejectical index should be less than one around the seaports and airports less than one means what zero it should be zero very good very good very good 
Draughtsman concentric rings in the culture. Draughtsman carom coin appearance is a feature of pneumococcus. That is a feature of pneumococcus and pneumococcus is capsulated, guys. It's a diplococci and it is the most common cause of typical pneumonia. In fact, community acquired pneumonia, it is the most common cause of meningitis in most of the age groups except neonates. In the neonates, what it is? Group B strepto. Group B strepto. And important to know here, this name, it is biopositive. Okay, bio means bile solubility, inulin fermentation, optogen is a drug, 2-ethyl hydrocuprin. Okay, that biopositive. And bionegative is which one? Viridens. Viridens is bionegative. What does it cause? It causes Sabe. And what is Sabe? Subacute bacterial endocarditis, which is more common, Sabe or Abe? Obviously Sabe. Type 1 hypersensitivity is mediated by which immunoglobulin guys? IgE. IgE shows homocytotropism. Okay. And the mnemonic for this you can remember of that is which particular cells are involved up? T helper cells. T helper 2 are involved up. And which interleukin is released? Interleukin 4. Because that interleukin 4 only what happens? Isotype switching. What is isotype switching? There is a change. Change in what? There is a change in the heavy chain. Heavy chain, which portion? Constant portion. And it changes from IgM to what? IgE. This is termed as switch over, switch over or isotype switching. Is it okay guys? So this is 1 to 4. Means you can remember in this particular sort that the T helper 2 cells are involved and interleukin 4 is released. The serum concentration of which human IgG is maximum. This I have already told you IgG 1. Okay, now tell about this guys, B, C, Y, E, Con C, B, C hai ye? Tell me, <laughs> which B, C it is? <coughs> tell me, tell me, which B, C it is? Ye hai buffered charcoal ki B, C, buffered charcoal yeast extract and the disease which we are talking about is Legionella. Okay, Legionella we are talking about in the culture media is B, C, Y, E and important is that it causes a atypical pneumonia, but certainly the atypical pneumonia, he is having a features of typical pneumonia. Okay, so there is a protective sputum in this particular one. Besides that, the question which have recently come in the exam is hyponatremia is observed. Electrolyte abnormality happens in this. Hyponatremia happens in the Legionella pneumonia, Legionnaire's disease, and thereby the confusion is there in this. And this is what is termed as Legionnaire's disease. Fine. There is one Pontiac fever which is self-limiting. And how does it transmits off, guys? Through the AC, na? AC aerosols more? No, it is by drinking contaminated water. And centralized AC is also there, which is the transmitting stuff. Is it fine? Now, the heat labile instruments, which are heat labile instruments, I should say, or heat labile things, they are sterilized by what? Filtration. Okay, they are sterilized by what? Filtration. You need to filter vaccines. You need to filter serum because you can't heat them. Okay, so that's why the filtration is a better option for the heat labile substances. Wheel phallic reaction is a heterophile agglutination test. It's a heterophile agglutination test, which you need to know. And other one, if somebody asks you, one is this and another one is Paul Bunnell test. And Paul Bunnell test is positive in what? Paul Wallum test is positive in infectious mononucleosis. Okay. And the card test of this only is termed as what? Monospot test. The card test of this only is termed as what? Monospot test. But this particular test is negative in cytomegalovirus induced one. That is mononucleosis like syndrome. The Zen mode, your answer is wrong here. Okay. Your answer is wrong here. It is, it is not negative in Epstein-Barr virus. Who is telling this? Paul Bunnell test is positive in infectious mononucleosis, but Paul Bunnell test is negative in mononucleosis-like syndrome done by whom? Cytomegalovirus. Is it fine? Dengue virus belongs to the family of arbovirus it is. Okay, everybody knows it's a flavi virus. It's a flavi virus. Which are the various serotypes? Four are there. Okay, and in this, the question, last question, last year question is ADE. Antibody dependent enhancement phenomena is observed in. Answer is dengue. Okay, means what? If somebody have developed the serotype 1 infection and next time unfortunately develop serotype 2 infection, there is an enhancement in the infection. Instead of having cross protection, there is an enhancement. And this jadu is seen in what? Dengue. Okay, this jadu is seen in dengue. So this is also important. 
shortest incubation period is for which food poisoning so this you already know the food poisoning which is having shortest one is one to six hours and one to six hours two names should immediately come in your mind one is staph aureus and one is bacillus serous hematic strain okay bacillus serous hematic strain and bacillus serous hematic strain we talk about chinese fried rice from gautam nagar okay and the staph aureus one that is cakes pastries if they are like they are lying nobody is taking them and uh, it is being served to you contaminated one then you land up with this contaminated milk and meat is it fine that is there for the staff aureus now ha huh, like one question have recently come in which they have given up the incubation period more around 10 hours and uh, then it is being looked out in harrison that um, does the incubation period can go up to 10 hours also it is clearly written it can go up to 12 hours also okay remember this so the, what is important important is history that what you have eaten up the answer is if you have eaten up pastries and all these uh, contaminated milk products and the things are going in favor of staff so you should answer of that as staff only okay now another important which i like to tell here itself bacillus serous hematic one okay this particular one toxin is heat level or heat stable the toxin of it is heat stable and the action of that is increased cyclic gmp stable stable mein kaun rehta hai ghoda okay so remember in that particular sort ki heat stable toxin and mechanism of action is what increased in cyclic gmp guanosin monophosphate okay this have come guys o157h7 of e coli can be grown on which media guys smack and if the option is being given of rainbow agar smack or rainbow agar this is there and uh, this one is entero hambrigic e coli which toxins are there vero toxins vero toxins 1 and 2 these are the toxins which does this h u s or hambrigic colitis h u s or hambrigic colitis and to this you can add upon attaching and effacing lesions can observed in this also by chance they ask this now attaching refacing is a feature of epc but it can be seen here also remember this particular point buruli ulcer bura hai ulcer and it is done by mycobacterium ulcerans which belongs to which group non chromogens it does not have a effect of light or darkness they are non chromogens okay duffy blood group antigen negativity confers protection against which infection guys this everybody knows answer is plasmodium vivax or gst kisko dena pad jata hai protection mein that is plasmodium falciparum means those who have g6pd deficiency those who have sickle cell anemia those who have thalassemic trait they are protected against plasmodium falciparum okay they are protected against plasmodium falciparum now this is new one pneumonia alba pneumonia alba is due to like trypanosoma pallidum okay and it happens to be a pneumonia type which is found in congenital syphilis okay so this you can find in your exam a new one pneumonia alba that associates with this okay nitro blue tetrazoleum test this particular test is used for the diagnosis of which disease cgd chronic granulomatous disease which particular enzyme is deficient nadph oxidase is deficient here okay and this particular test is positive or negative there answer is negative guys nitro blue tetrazoleum test is negative in the case of this particular cgd chronic granulomatous disease in which there is a recurrent catalase positive organism infections which one staph okay coliforms coliforms these all are what these all are catalase positive very right very right wonderful zen mode g2 butterfly hamid dr nishche very good now another important one the defect in folding of proteins and very highly labile heat resistant cause slow virus disease what we are talking about guys we are talking about the most resistant form on earth as is prions okay and these particular prions they have a sequence prp which is a normal one it is being changed by them to prp sc this is coming okay and you can autoclave and the temperature is 135 for 1 hour for this to kill denature not an rna virus it shows cytoplasmic vacuolation okay 
cytoplasmic vacuolation and it's not a RNA virus. So obviously in the cytoplasm, uh, you can have the vacuolations with the help of various ones. And uh, important is, this is SV40. This is a virus which is a brother of uh, herpes, HPV. And this shows cytoplasmic vacuolation. The most common organism isolated in emphysematous pyelonephritis. Obviously, this is being done by E. coli and this is the one which is the causal agent of emphysematous pyelonephritis. Okay. Not teratogenic, slow virus, complex spots are most characteristic. Warden Finkledy giant cells are seen in this and this everybody knows and everybody should tell this in the comment section. Answer is measles. Okay. And regarding measles, the complex spot is seen what? Where? Opposite lower second molar. Okay. And which particular uh, like uh, is the chronic late complication of it? That is SSPE. Regarding that, there was a question in the last year paper in which is there you have those particular like uh, there was a history of rash uh, and uh, with fever and you observe burst wave pattern in the this EEG. Fine. So that is important and it happens after 10 to 15 years when the child is school going and suddenly deteriorates in the studies and might die also because of it. Okay. Only hepatitis virus which can be cultured is hepatitis A guys. Okay. Hepatitis A that's why the wonderful vaccine is there against it. But this vaccine is a failure in India because what we eat? We eat Pani Puris and Pani Puris the fellow who gives it you can see the hands of that fellow and the antibodies they induce up is remarkable. So you don't need any sort of vaccination after that. Yes, Hamid, very good. Triple C. Coriza conjunctivitis cuff is there in the measles. This also come as a hint. Selective media for Vibrio. Vibrio in and all is very important. Answer here is TCBS. Thiosulfate citrate bile salt sucrose, which is a yellow color changing from green if Vibrio cholerae grows into it. Okay, if the Vibrio cholerae grows into it, the selective media for Vibrio is TCBS. Now, what is the transport media? Venkat Raman Ramakrishna media. Which other one is there? That is the carry player. Which is the enrichment media? Alkaline peptone water. <coughs> Which are the various oven Vibrios here, guys? Oven Vibrios. Oven Vibrios, they are two. One is classical and one is Altor. They are oven Vibrios and all others are what? Non-oven. All others are what? Non-oven. Con hai thoda Kamina types in me, classical or Altor me? The answer is Altor. Classical is serious stuff, but more resistant stuff is this Altor. Okay. And Altor is a place name near Saudi, which was a quarantine station for Hajj. That's why the name has come Altor Vibrios. Cholera toxin. Cholera toxin acts upon zona occludens. Okay. This is the junction, also termed as tight junctions. And which particular uh, it binds up to the GM1, last year question. GM1 ganglioside receptors, that particular one binds off. Now, Malta fever is caused by, Malta fever, yes, Malta fever, Mediterranean fever, undulant fever, acute brucellosis is done by Brucella melitensis. Okay. And Brucella melitensis, why it is important? Because it contaminates the milk. So, you need to go for the test. Which one? Okay, that is Rose Bengal card test, milk ring test, whey egg glutination test. What is drug of choice? Doxy. Which phage typing is done? Tiblisi phage typing. Tiblisi phage typing is done in the case of this particular one. Fine. The most common species of pseudomonas causing intravascular catheter related infections. Though this is mostly the pseudomonas eruginosa, which is widespread. Okay. And if they want to talk about other non fermenter, that is burko holder capacity and all, they are there which does all this. Pseudomonas eruginosa, important is malignant otitis externa. This particular disease, which is common in whom? In the DM fellows. Which is common in whom? It is common in the DM fellows. And this produces pigments. It's a favorite wounds up, burn wounds. And important to know is, ceftriaxone and vancomycin fails. In the pseudomonas infection, they fails. Is it fine? The culture media for leptospirosis. Leptospirosis ka naam aate hi, you need to know three things. Rat, rice and rain. Rat, rice and rain. That is rat urine contaminate the rainy water. And this particular one 
happens to the paddy field workers because they are barefoot, it enters their foot. So, triple R, rain, rice and rat urine. Fine. And culture media, if they talk about, that is E-M-J-H, Fletcher and Korthoff. Important is, the dangerous one is Leptospira enterogens, which leads to what? Icterohambrigic fever, Wheels disease. Important is this particular word, which I have told you before also, and last time it was asked, again it will be asked, conjunctival suffusion. And what is suffusion? Inflammatory exudates, they are not there. And there is a conjunctivitis. Okay, so conjunctival suffusion is a special thing related to the leptospirosis. And leptospirosis is what, guys? It's a spirochete. And they give a picture of you, picture of not you, of leptospirosis. You have hooked. Hooked ends are there in this particular one. Yeah, after disaster, after floods, actually. This particular disease is very common, as Jitu said. Intermediate host for hydrated disease, definitive is dog. Intermediate is mostly the sheep and accidental host is men. Accidental intermediate host is men. Auto-infection. Auto-infection is observed in these particular ones. That is chest. Okay. This is the mnemonic for this. Chest. This is the auto-infection. Another favorite question which can come. The chest. And in the chest what you have? This particular one. Cryptosporidium pavum. Remember, Cryptosporidium pavum is also undergoing auto-infection. Other one is Capillaria philippensis. Fine. Then you have H. nana. H. nana is whose nana? Hymelibris nana. Dwarf tapeworm. Okay. Polar filaments in the egg. E is Antrobes vermicularis. Antrobes vermicularis is having planoconvex, tadpole-like larvae. NIH swab is used for it. And how does the infection happen, guys? By eating eggs. Okay. S is Strongyloids. Stercoralis. Auto hyperinfection happens in this, in the HIV positive. If the question is telling again and again about HIV, steroid use, you should think for S, strongloids one. And T is not triturous, it is tinea solium. And tinea solium is which one? Pock tapeworm. Okay, that is the pock tapeworm. So remember that particular thing also. Okay. Now, this particular one is microaerophilic. This I've already told you, you should answer this. 42 degree, gulving shape, charcoal based medias, campy bab, buzzler, skiro. What I'm talking about, guys, tell this. What I'm talking about. I'm waiting for your answers. Tell in this. What is the microaerophile? Grows at 42, gulving shape, charcoal based medias, campy bab, buzzler, skiro. What is the answer? Tell me. We are talking about Campylobacter jejuni. Okay, we are talking about Campylobacter jejuni and the same things except this gulving shape or 42 can go for Helicobacter pylori which is the strongest urease positive which leads to carcinoma stomach, okay, which leads to peptic ulcer disease and even maltomas. And non-invasive test is what one guys? That is the breath urease test and the invasive one is what? From the antrum you take the biopsy or you can go for the rapid urease test, okay. Now, the infected stage of the mosquito, kitni baar aega? So that particular one is sporozoids. That everybody knows sporozoids. And which particular mosquito is the infected, like uh, involved in this? Female Anopheles mosquito. Maltase cross. Maltase cross is a feature of Babesiosis. And Babesiosis is done by Babesia microti. Babesia microti. And this one resembles the Plasmodium falciparum gametocyte stage. Okay. Viscott Eldritch syndrome. This particular one is a wasp gene defect. This you need to know first. And it is having a triad that is RET, recurrent infections, eczema, and thrombocytopenia. And there is an increase in what, guys? Increase in the IgE. Wheels disease we have just talked about. Icterohambrigic fever. Okay. And these diseases done by what? Leptospirosis, how to identify? Hooked ends. Okay, how to identify? Hooked ends. Now, causative agent of yours, that is Tryponema pertuni. Okay, another one, that is Tryponema caratium. It leads to Pinta. And another one is Tryponema endemicum, that leads to endemic syphilis, that is Bezel. And all of them, they are what? not sexually transmitted. They are not sexually transmitted. 
Yes, very right, Janmood. Excess iron overload conditions and in diabetes mellitus, your favorite mucormycosis we are talking about. And mucormycosis, another name is zygomycosis and you can go for tissue biopsy in this, nasal tissue biopsy, nasal swab does not have any sort of like importance in this, don't take nasal swab, go for tissue biopsy, this was the question last year, it can again come, this is nasal tissue biopsy or any tissue biopsy, you have to take that and you have to stain it with h &E, and you find in this obtuse angled that is 120 degree or it is at 90 degree and you have a cotton woolly colonies here and salt and pepper appearance okay so these all are important investigation of choice is biopsy and like investigation of depends on the conditions like if it is being given off that there is a facial pain and there is loosening of teeth which is the immediate investigation you will do answer is MRI because you want to know the extent of it otherwise you can go for tissue biopsy and you can do 10% KOH and you can observe up these particular ones and you can culture it okay and the drug of choice lamp liposomal amphotericin B and in the case of uh, aspergillus septate hyphae dichotomous branching septate hyphae dichotomous branching which other you can do galactomenin testing galactomenin testing is done for invasive aspergillosis which other one beta 1 3 glucan assay okay very right very right generation time for mycobacterial leprae so answer of this is generation time means egg bacteria se do banda daughter cells 20 days hai bhai 20 days may generate karta hai mycobacterium leprae slow growing very slow growing important to know here is late involvement of nerve leonine facies lucio phenomena is a feature of lepromatous leprosy okay type 1 lepra reaction is type 4 hypersensitivity type 2 is type 3 okay drug of choice of both of them is steroids but in the case of type 2 you can use what thalidomide okay and you go for slit skin smear in this particular one and you got to find what globi and on the basis of bacteriologic index you define it by posse or multi for both of them the treatment is same now dcr but the time changes one is six one is one year okay for the uh, like remembrance sake dr ritika i have told 20 because it goes like this 20 hours okay 20 hours and uh, uh, 20 minutes 20 hours and 20 days so 20 days for this for, for remembrance sake Myocardium involvement is seen in which parasitic infection? The first one is Trichinella spiralis. This is the muscle worm, which call it. It can go into myocardium also. Another one which is involved is Trypanosoma cruzae. Trypanosoma cruzae. In this also, myocarditis and all can happen off. So, this also needs to know. Endemic typhus, we already have talked about. Endemic typhus is done by Rickettsia typhi and it is transmitted by flea gonorrhea gonorrhea if somebody talks about guys gonorrhea is Nisiria gonori okay and the culture media is theo martin theo martin and new york agar theo martin and new york agar and it is having a mucopurulin discharge it is having a mucopurulin discharge and later on in the disease dgi can also happen disseminated gonococcal infections in which the joint pain is very common. So, it is having polyarthritis. Okay. Now, the Cazonese test, this we already have done, echinococcus granulosis. Mature cyst of Antamoeba histolytica is having how many nuclei? Four nuclei. Okay. Which particular thing is stimulating the cell mediated immunity and release interleukin 2 to change NK into LAC? The answer is antigen presenting cells, APCs. These are the antigen presenting cells which change up the they, uh, release of this interleukin 2 and they change up this particular one Inter, uh, like uh, interleukin 2 is there by the T helper 1 cells guys. So, this sequence goes I am again telling up APC release of interleukin 1 and then T helper 1 cells they stimulate up and T helper 1 cells they release up interleukin 2 and this mechanism happens to be in the type 4 hypersensitivity also okay so that you need to know and uh, this interleukin 2 changes the natural killer cells to what lack lymphokine activated killer cells again i am telling up antigen presenting cells they secrete up interleukin 1 interleukin 1 acts on t helper 1 cells re tell them to re like release up interleukin 2 interleukin 2 acts on nk cells to release what lack 
okay lymphokine activated killer cells pre-packed syringes if somebody asks you is best sterilized by answer to this question is ethylene or ethylene oxide okay now the gamma rays is not the answer answer is ethylene oxide for the pre-packed syringes okay so remember this particular one for the pre-packed syringes ethylene oxide is the like in the, uh, the instrument of choice to sterilize the pre-packed syringes rather than the rather than what rather than the gamma radiation the chances of hiv after the needle stick injury that is 0.3 to 3 percent and some books they write 0.5 to 1 percent okay and you should give post exposure prophylaxis within 72 hours after that there is no use and better to give within two hours okay so this is actually 0.3 to 3 percent and actual figures in the like uh, standard textbooks is 0.5 to 1 percent maximum by the blood transfusion and in india most common is sexual route now this does not ferment glucose okay and does not produce acid and gas also termed as non-fermenters so obviously we are talking about what pseudomonas and the brothers of pseudomonas are what burkoholdria burkoholdria malai and pseudomalai burkoholdria malai and pseudomalai they are the ones which are termed as non-fermenters and along with them there is one acinetobacter bomini okay which is the mdr isolate and uh, who have also put it in the critical list that is a percentage not 90 percent sexual 90 percent is regarding the transfusion blood transfusion somebody is asking the question in the chat box the fecal leukocytes they are present in the fecal leukocytes are observed in compilobacter jujuni infection and this terms at inflammatory inflammatory diarrhea okay inflammatory diarrhea all of them like fecal leukocytes can be observed in salmonella they can be observed in shigella also okay and they are done by what compilobacter jujuni shigella salmonella non-inflammatory one vibrio cholerae okay non-inflammatory one vibrio cholerae has a group of members the has a you already know h is hemophilus aprophilus para aprophilus para influenza kya nahi hai hemophilus influenzae okay a is actinobacillus mycetocombinans c is cardiobacterium hominis e is echinella cordans and k is kingilla kingi okay and what does it do they does culture negative endocarditis and what is the drug of choice answer is ceftriaxon okay answer is ceftriaxon in diphtheria one tagline you need to know the diphtheria is dash not dash diphtheria is toxemia not bacteremia okay and uh, that you already know lysogen conversion and all we already done primary atypical pneumonia this particular one the most common one we have already talked about mycoplasma pneumonia and all things which are around it we have discussed of investigation which is do is cat cold agglutination test or pcr mrsa this is good question mrsa is better isolated temperature of less than how much 37 degree centigrade and primarily it is due to the change in what penicillin binding proteins and pbp changes to what pbp 2a due to which particular gene guys mac a gene this particular gene through which it is being transmitted off okay somebody is telling a uh, cat butterfly what are you telling on cat cat you are telling regarding what so from your cat i could able to gather one question that there is one bartonella bartonella hansley and this bartonella hansley leads to which particular disease it leads to a disease termed as cat scratch disease cat scratch disease and there are stellate granulomas in this particular one which you observe up and self-limiting disease mostly okay another one is bartonella quintana and quintana leads to trench fever okay trench mouth kya hota hai trench mouth hota hai vincent angina okay and there is a bartonella bacilliformis and bartonella bacilliformis this particular bacteria this leads to bartonella bacilliformis this leads to the various disease like carrion's disease okay 
and it is termed as oroya fever oroya fever okay now why we need to know them because they can be cultured on normal culture media even though they are in the rickettsial family so this is the importance regarding them and uh, they can be asked in this way besides that the question which was asked uh, recently is regarding the ehrlichia okay regarding the ehrlichia there were questions and ehrlichia chaffinensis this particular one chaffinensis leads to human monocytic ehrlichiosis it leads to what human monocytic ehrlichiosis and there is ehrlichia granlo granulocyte one that is phagocytophyllum ehrlichia phagocytophyllum and this phag phagocytophyllum you need to know this g human granulocytic ehrlichiosis okay and there is one name anaplasma phagocytophyllum that is anaplasmosis is the other name of it okay that is the other name of this only is it fine okay so besides this i will like to tell you some more important things which can come in your exam okay so one mnemonic we have lcgm i will take just 5 uh, 10 minutes of yours more and after that we'll wind up lcgm lansfield is based upon carbohydrate c and griffith is based upon m protein this particular classification is for streptococcus pyo like it is for the streptococcus pyo genes you can say or any sort of beta hemolytic strepto this classification goes strong strepto okay now guys if i like to tell up a important thing here besides that that this particular one miss bamboo this can be asked miss bamboo that is medusa head appearance inverted fir tree inverted christmas tree string of pearls or bamboo stick appearance bulging spore or non bulging so this one is having a non bulging spore this one is having a non bulging spore and recent just recently asked question is regarding the clostridium perfringens okay this leads to gas gangrene and this is brick shape okay this particular one is what brick shape now from this brick i like to ask up that which are the non enveloped dna virus you know that is pap parvo adeno and papova and non enveloped rna that is park okay picorna astro rio and calci this is important you should go after revising this particular one because lot of questions will be around this enveloped and non enveloped stuff another important one e6 and e7 these particular like segments or genes they act on which tumor suppressor gene they cause loss of which tumor suppressor gene e6 is p53 and e7 is rb e7 is rb and how to remember that 6 you just tilt it off p and 7 7 colors of rainbow okay so they two factors of human papilloma virus leads to the loss of these particular genes and this question is coming in your exam okay another one is l1 l1 is used to make the vaccines l1 is used to make the vaccines which vaccines hpv vaccines another important question l1 is used for this particular vaccine preparation this is also important now if i ask you acute hemorrhagic conjunctivitis acute hemorrhagic conjunctivitis this is done by which particular viruses the answer is coxsackie virus a24 plus enterovirus 70 this is the one which leads to the acute hemorrhagic conjunctivitis another short short question <coughs> another short short question then enterovirus 72 is the other name of answer is hepatitis a that is the other name of hepatitis a then besides this all like uh, there might be a question regarding the covid stuff that is coronavirus disease 2019 that is covid 19 done by sars coronavirus 2 and this sars coronavirus 
इज इट एम्बलप्ड और नॉन एम्बलप दिस इज एम्बलप सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड डबल स्टैंडर्ड सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड आर एन ए डी एन ए आर एन ए ओके एंड नेगेटिव सेंस पॉजिटिव सेंस इट इज अ पॉजिटिव सेंस वन एंड इट इज हैविंग लॉर्ड ऑफ अदर थिंग्स ऑल्सो लाइक स्पाइक प्रोटीन एंड ऑल अकॉर्डिंग टू विच वी मेक द वैक्सीन एंड ऑल ओके एंड इफ समबडी आस्क अप दैट विच इज द पैथोजेनेसिस ऑफ इट दैट इज द डिफ्यूज एलवुलर डैमेज इट यूज टू डू दैट इज द डैड and it's a multi organ inflammatory syndrome mois and the drug of choice at the last is steroids because they are anti inflammatory against it okay anti inflammatory against it so drug of choice is that okay regarding the like uh, some other important uh, viruses which talk zika we already talked about okay and uh, you can talk about ebola ebola is having a mortality of 50% guys okay and 100% is seen in rabies and if in your question you could able to see the bats and all then which particular virus we are talking about nipa okay if you are seeing pigs roaming then again nipa and which other fellow japanese encephalitis japanese encephalitis also straight strongly with the pigs and all fine for chimer spots kis pe milte hain they are found in rubella for chimer spots they are seen in rubella ruby ki fortuner pe kya lag gaye spots so rubella is having which spots for chimer spots complex you already know that is measles okay nagayama spots hhv 6 and 7 that is exanthem subitum or rosella infantum okay and uh, this is also important the parvo ones parvo leads to erythema infectiosum slabbed cheek appearance slabbed cheek appearance is a feature of parvo b19 erythema infectiosum erythema infectiosum okay so this is also to be remembered by you and uh, i suppose we have covered up most of the things in a rapid way for sure and if you go to the exam just have a tilt of it and if you are able to recall up all these things also in your exam your rank will boost like anything and very best of luck from my side and thank you so much for joining this session be with me for the future updates also thank you so much and very best of luck from my side lage raho aur mehnat karo and do your best in the exam my good wishes best wishes with you thank you so much